So today's question comes from Amanda and her email reads, Every day I usually listen to a Bible audio app that has a man read the scriptures to me. I usually do this while I'm cleaning and cooking around the house. Is this a good way to read the Bible each day? So thank you for your email, Amanda. But to answer your question from my own personal opinion, I do not believe nor encourage Christians to receive the word that way. And it's for a couple of reasons. Well, number one, because you trivialize your daily devotion by not giving God 100% of your attention. Listen, I'm against using audiobooks as your primary source of daily Bible reading. I'm totally against it, okay? I'm not against audiobooks per se, but I am against it being your primary form of daily reading. When you've got your earbuds in, and you're walking around the house cleaning, cooking, ironing, or whatever it is. You're not really paying attention to what's being said. You're just not. Listen, sometimes I have to reread passages or whole paragraphs because I'm while I'm reading, my mind begins to wander off onto something else. And anyone who's an avid Bible reader knows exactly what I'm talking about. And if that can happen while I'm actually holding the Bible and reading it, I know it happens way more if you're listening to someone else read it to you. If you are a true Christian, Jesus Christ died for you, and he left you a love letter. That's the word of God. Listen, does God not deserve a piece of your day, a slot in your schedule where you set apart a time in which there's nothing but you and the Lord? Does he not deserve that? That's the question. Is he not worthy of that? Every Christian should be seeking to complete the Bible once every single year until you die. Not to have someone read it to you, but that you actually do the work yourself and read it. Have you ever wondered why some Christians seem to pass up other Christians in maturity, knowledge, and biblical wisdom? I've seen this. It's because that younger Christian is putting in more work and is devoting more of their time to the scriptures. You know what I would love to see? If, if God could bless me with a, a quick vision in which all of my subscribers who claim to have been saved for more than five years, they're all before me, and I'm able to ask them one question, and they all have to tell me the truth. The question would be, how many of you have finished the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation? Just once. I'd love to, I'd love to be able to see the, the response. How many hands pop up? Because I honestly don't believe that it would be many. God left us his word. Okay. What else deserves more of our attention every day than that? What else? That's the question. What else deserves more attention? It's the word of God. Let that sink in. It's the word of God. 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 God, the maker of heaven and earth, holding all the universe in being and knowing everything there can possibly be known, has spoken. takes your breath away, that it sits on the shelf. God is saying to you, now, now, I have communicated everything you need to know in order to have godliness and life and be fruitful for me and powerful for me and faithful to me. I have spoken it. I invite you to enjoy it. I invite you to live in it. Not, not lick this lollipop once every three days. I invite you to live here. Hold this. Love this. Read this. Meditate on this. Memorize this. Day and night. Don't let the world shape you. So that this looks boring. God Almighty has spoken. It can't be boring. It can't be boring. We're the problem. He's a Vesuvius of joy and energy and power and wisdom and strength and love and grace and justice and truth. He can't be boring. The world is boring. Avatar is boring. Father in heaven, God, we need you. I know we're not playing games here. I know that there are hundreds of people who hear this and they don't feel the desire yet. 
They've always felt let down when they went to the Bible. They've not gotten the help they wanted. I'm just pleading for the miracle, Lord. You'd open the eyes of the heart and that they would stay there and hold there until the Spirit comes. And I just ask that you'd come. Come now and come there. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.